Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche with the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today, we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 160. The Crusade Day, which is the fifth of the month, happened to fall on the first Friday of the month. This was my day for keeping watch over the Lord Jesus. It was my duty to make amends to the Lord for all offenses and acts of disrespect, and to pray that, on this day, no sacrilege be committed. This day my spirit was set aflame with special love for the Eucharist. It seemed to me that I was transformed into a blazing fire. When I was about to receive Holy Communion, a second host fell onto the priest's sleeve, and I did not know which host I was to receive. After I had hesitated for a moment, the priest made an impatient gesture with his hand to tell me that I should receive the host. Then I took the host he gave me. The other one fell into my hands. The priest went along the altar rail to distribute communion, and I held the Lord Jesus in my hands all that time. When the priest approached me again, I raised the host for him to put it back into the chalice, because when I had first received Jesus, I could not speak before consuming the host, and so could not tell him that the other had fallen. But while I was holding the host in my hand, I felt such a power of love that for the rest of the day I could neither eat nor come to my senses. I heard these words from the host, I desired to rest in your hands, not only in your heart. And at that moment... I saw the little Jesus, but when the priest approached, I saw once again only the host. O Mary, Immaculate Virgin, pure crystal for my heart, you are my strength, O secure anchor, you are a shield and protection for a weak heart. O Mary, you are pure and unparalleled, virgin and mother at one and the same time. You are beautiful as the sun, by nothing defiled. Nothing is worthy of comparison to the image of your soul. Your beauty enthralled the thrice holy one's eye, that he came down from heaven, forsaking the eternal sea's throne, and assumed from your heart body and blood, hiding for nine months in the virgin's heart. O mother virgin, this will no, this will no one comprehend, that the infinite God is becoming a man. Its only loves and his inscrutable mercy's purpose. Through you, Mother, it's given us to live with him forever. O Mary, Virgin Mother and Heaven's Gate, through you salvation came to us. Every grace to us streams forth through your hands, and faithful imitation of you only will sanctify me. O Mother, Virgin, most beautiful lily, your heart was for Jesus, the first tabernacle on earth, and that because your humility was the deepest. Wherefore, you were raised above angel choirs and saints. O Mary, my sweet mother, to you I turn over my soul, my body, and my poor heart. Be the safeguard of my life, especially at death's hour, in the final fight." St. Faustina writes here of Crusade Day. Uh, we can wonder, what does this mean? Well, each novice apparently spent one day a month in which she had to practice greater recollection and union with the Lord in the Eucharist. She was also to ask the directress for additional mortifications and to offer up all of her work and her prayer and her sufferings to Jesus in atonement for sinners. The footnote reveals that some of the sisters continued this practice even after the novitiate. I suppose the idea was a day to go on a crusade or a mission, to conquer souls for Christ, to win all for Christ. St. Faustina received many special graces that day. She said her heart was on fire with the love for our Lord. And then she had a special experience when she was holding the host in her hand that had fallen from the priest's hands as he was distributing Holy Communion. It was very special because it was not permitted to receive communion on the hand at that time. Normally only the priest could touch the host. 
And also St. Faustina had a vision of the, the little Jesus, the baby Jesus. So it shows Jesus' love for her, how close he wants to be to her. And then we have a beautiful poem dedicated to Mary. It uh, praises Mary's purity and her beauty. Mary was a special mother to Faustina. Mary helped Faustina and protected her. Uh, St. Faustina writes here of Mary's role mediating God's graces to us. And in the end, St. Faustina asks for Mary's help at the decisive hour when death shall come. Mm -hmm.